Okay, this is Sand Dollar, February 24th, a Friday. It's just now 7 o'clock. Uh, last two days we had a bad storm come in. Uh, storm's gone. I'm able to get on the beach to do some hunting. Can't drive on the beach because the storm's sitting off our coast and kicking up, still kicking up some extra high tide. So I was hoping to get on the beach today, be able to drive on it and uh, go to this one spot and finish detecting it that I did a couple weeks ago. Today I'm running my Garrett Sea Hunter again and my stainless steel sand scoop and my land and sea pinpointer by Gold Digger. And uh, let me get to hunting, and uh, as soon as I hit a target, I'll let you know. Okay, I just hit a good target. I found a lot of trash, but I've hit a good target. It's a penny. It was buried about uh, six inches deep. Um, it's in 1978. I believe the first coin of the day, which is good. Hope I find some more. I know that uh, this storm sitting off our coast is really kicking the surf in extra high. Of course, it's nature's way of cleaning the beach, which is good. But uh, I'll keep hunting to hit another target. I'll let you know. On a nickel, 1970 nickel. It was approximately six inches deep right there in that hole. Uh, I'm surprised I found it because line of poles is where uh, ATVs come ride and pick up the trash barrel so I thought it was a piece of trash but I'm surprised it's a nickel so as soon as I hit another target I'll let you know and uh, it was about uh, six inches deep it's a dime uh, okay that's cool so as soon as I hit another target, I'll uh, let you know. Okay, I took a break a minute. I want to show you this right here. It's a Portuguese man of war. And that fin on the back is how they, the wind blows them, uh, it, their movement. Now normally, they'll have 10 to 15 feet of long tentacles on them. And uh, this one just came in this morning. It's still alive. And uh, you don't ever want to touch one because you'll have to go to the hospital and get a bunch of shots. I mean, they will flat mess you up. So just wanted to show you that and I'm gonna get back to hunting. So that's what it looks like right there. Okay, I just come across another penny. It's a 1965. That's pretty getting down there. Uh, it was in a hole probably about six inches deep, wet sand. So, uh, I'll, as soon as I hit another target, I'll let you know. Uh, that Portuguese man of war, I don't know if I said it on film or not, but it's like a jellyfish. So, if you ever come to our beach, you have one wash in. Don't touch it. All right, I'll let you know if we hit another target. Okay, I just come across the surface fine. A penny. 2008. So let's know if we hit another target. Surface fine. Found another penny. 1973. About four inches deep. So they hit another target, I'll let you know. I uh, redid the hole. Before I covered it up, come across another penny, so that's not bad. Three pennies out of one hole, so uh, I'll let you know if we hit another target. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do a wrap up here. I uh, found a fishing sinker, a wire cap off a champagne bottle, a bottle cap. Two pieces of aluminum foil, another bottle cap, a nail, I don't know what this is, some kind of metal clip off something. 
a uh, piece of another piece of aluminum foil, two pull tabs, a washer, piece of wire. I found five pennies, a dime, and a nickel. So, uh, Daytona 500 this week, and uh, next week's bike week, spring break. So things will be getting better. Please watch. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching.